After a day ago, after Barry's real problems, this driver fireman kind of went into the steamworks and gave him a great big rebuild, but this time, he has his own great livery style, and everything was going very well on his great run. Later that day, Barry was talking to Thomas and to the station. They are having a great time for talking to each other. You know, if I were in that snowdrift, it would have been like way worse than I expected. Agreed, said Barry. You know, while I was from my own uh, railway, I was having problems with my wheels that I can't even uh, try to understand though. But somehow, I uh, kind of used my sandbox, then somehow you did like the same thing you did. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, that's why I would like use my, my brakes and uh, somehow it even works on me. Fair enough. Well, I uh, just gotta be going. Uh, see ya, Barry. Hope I get to see you soon. And Thomas walked away to get to another station to get his pastures ready. But as Thomas left, Barry recognized something. If he couldn't even try to use his own sandbox, he might be able to use it for something else. And he didn't even want to know how he would try to use him if he has his own driver on the other hand. So he kind of decided that he would try to unassume things and he would even try his own way. That night, Barry, D199, and Barry are talking to each other at the sheds. They were having some crazy concerns about Barry's wheel problems. And then the sooner or later, I was trying to stop with my train, and then, boom, my brakes were trying to slide. No wonder why, but then the sooner or later, my friend Bear helped me out of the woods. But somehow, I want to give him a special thanks for the works, by the way. There's no need. Somehow it makes sense, but we even already know that what kind of real problems that he had. I mean, even, even though D199 has heard a thing. Heard about what? Said D199. About Barry's wheel problems. Oh, right. How come he doesn't even tell me? Um, let's just say he got a little busy afterwards. Same with us. Huh? We even have our own real problems, too. I was gonna go very fast to get things done on time while Gordon was right behind me. And I pretty much recognized that I'm pretty, pretty sure that I was gonna get as fast as I can, but then Spencer was going too fast that I recently hit the buffers and then Jam went over the lady hats, top of hat, and even the Earl. And I was so upset about it. We even got to try to get stuck in the snow, but there was a great snowstorm on Sodor. And then the sooner or later, then the next thing we did is that we were trying to stop, but then the trucks, they pushed us, and then my brother, they kind of got derailed, and then I recently got derailed, and I got hit by the snow, and I kind of got sent to the works. There was a long silence. No one had ever heard about their own stories, what they told to Barry, D199, and Bear. Then, D199 confesses him. Whoa, wait a minute, you two were carrying some snow trucks, or your truck afterwards, and then you got derailed in the snow? Indeed we did, but we somehow got fixed at the steamworks, so we won't be able to have our snow problems again. And we recently could have got our snow plows at first. And everyone was completely silenced. They really even know what really happened to them, just like when Barry did. But then somehow, he even got his own rebuilt, like Iron Airy and Iron Burt. Huh, well, um, I see, um, well, I'm just gonna go to bed, I think. <sighs> I hope something really crazy is going on. The next morning, Barry was heading to the station to collect his pasture train. Then the sooner or later, he found out something big is happening. Barry, I want you to help D199. He got a train to catch, but he's also stuck in the snow and uh... You need some help for him, really. Oh yes sir! I won't let you down on this one. And Barry poked away to help D199. When Barry got the chance to see D199, Barry was surprised. He 
They even see Demon Knight Nine getting stuck in the snow, but somehow he was upset. What happened? Sorry, Barry. I um, I was in a rush, and um, I should have listened to my driver and, and the controller. I don't know know what to say. I, I, I listen. It's okay. Maybe. Here, I, I got an idea. <laughs> Barry came from right in front of D199. And then sooner or later, they went off. You know, I want to say thank you for the help, Barry. Don't mention it. Well, I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna... Where have you been, D199? I thought I would trust you with your train. Why didn't you just come here on time as possible? I, 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 I was... I don't know. I was just trying to be uh, useful when I was gonna be excited. But I, I missed the train. And I, I, I understand that you wanted to wanted me to, to be replaced. What he's saying is true, sir. I even saw him ran away. I, I was helping him. I mean, I he, he forgot to tell the driver about the snowplow or the workman. You mean what he was trying to do is to be really useful? Well, oh my. I am very sorry, D199. I, I didn't know. But in good use, I see that you, G199, will be spending time on Shodor helping with your friends. Then, with a huge gasp, D199 and Barry were surprised! Barry has never seen D199 being super surprised and even happier. D199 was very excited to see how this day is gonna come. Then, Sir Tom had talked to Barry. Well, Barry. I'd say that you are guaranteed to be a really useful rescue engine. Thank you, sir. I've been working hard, I mean. He sure did. I mean, I would like to help him very well for the often. Also, sir, I always wondered if maybe him and I could be able to pull our trains together and so is the goods. We could do whatever you asked. Oh? I, I, uh, don't see why not. And then, D199 and Barry both agreed. <laughs> After D199's oil problems, Barry and D199 have become greater friends together. Even though D199 has his only other problems, he was still a really useful diesel engine for his own work. But instead of D199 being a horror diesel, he was now a rescue diesel legend. <laughs>